My name is Patrick Anderson, and I've been, uh, I was born and raised in Greeley, Colorado. I've been living out here in Arizona for three years. I've been staying here at Element for eight months and training every day in Jiu Jitsu. Most of my life I've been studying life itself. Uh, I had a nine year period of studying uh, the monastic life. And then after that, almost entirely studying body dynamics and healing dynamics within the field of orthopedic, uh, orthopedic structural therapy, um, but also in the range of Reiki, healing touch, massage therapy, stretching, all the whole art of body work. Yeah. The, the goal of being a monk is enlightenment, Nibbana. Uh, the Buddha said very clearly like this entire monastic life is for the purpose of training your mind and absolute enlightenment. And if you're not going to do that, you shouldn't be a monk. I uh, just started jiu-jitsu at 47. A lot of the people I used to hang around with were in the yoga world, so they're kind of like, why are you doing that? Like, this, that seems kind of violent. Why are you putting yourself in harm's way? Why are you allowing yourself to get injured? So it kind of surprises them. And then I simply tell them that it, we're at war. I'm at war, and this is the perfect place for me to be. I'd rather be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. So they're surprised usually, but they can see that there's been some changes. I started training jiu-jitsu because it was so, um, it was laid out in front of me as a, as a gift and an offering at the highest level, and I couldn't, I couldn't not but take it. It's just too much of an opportunity. Um, I've wanted to study the fighting arts for some time. As a young child, I, I was really interested in wrestling, and I always dreamed of having a coach where I could actually learn how to wrestle properly. And so when this opportunity to stay and train here at Element was provided, just given to me and everybody else, I couldn't think of anything else I wanted to do more. What was attractive for me was the people, the people and their knowledge, specifically the level of training um, here at the gym and uh, the absolute expertise and knowledge in this field. When I first started Jiu Jitsu, not much did look fun to me. I, coming from the Buddhist monastic lifestyle of zero injury, not killing anything, the idea of choking someone out was extremely difficult for my consciousness to wrap my mind around. Um, the only fun part for me at first was hanging out with such elite athletes and people that had such focus and such power. That's what was attractive to me. I motivate myself to do Jiu Jitsu five days a week um, by watching what I want to become. I watch the people around and I admire them so much and I want to be that type of warrior. I want to be successful, not only in the gym, but outside of the gym. I avoid injuries in Jiu Jitsu by doing the warm ups, by doing the proper drills and warm ups. Um, I avoid injuries by making sure that I focus on position, grip, and submission, keeping a clear head while I'm rolling. I prevent injuries by making sure that I tap early and on time and I say it, and not getting into a dogfight every match. I don't know what it is about Jiu Jitsu, it brings out the real life aspect of combat and battle and to learn how to be calm in that and not get all tense and nervous, but I'm constantly working on calming the nerves and breathing and relaxing into this. And that challenge alone is something I, I, I deeply enjoy. There's many very hard things about Jiu Jitsu. The hardest thing for me in Jiu Jitsu is showing up absolutely every day, giving your absolute best. And that means being prepared, having the right food, having the right sleep, and being willing to give it your all. And it's difficult to be submitted and to go through this day in, day out, day in, day out, the consistency, absolute consistency in this process. My favorite thing about Jiu Jitsu are the people. They will they'll motivate you to work your very hardest, they'll give you a fight, and they'll keep you honest.